Hi, yogis. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's practice, we'll be doing a little tension release. Um, this can be done in the evening after you've had a long day, or maybe you need a break during the middle of the day, or maybe even in the morning. Um, just allowing the body to kind of decompress. And we'll be doing a little bit of fascia release. I'm going to give some attention to the neck area with a little uh, fascia release, um, which feels really good. I always uh, like to do it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I should do this more often. Um, so let's get started. If you would like to sit on a yoga block or a cushion, um, anything to elevate the hips, you may. You don't have to. If the hips are feeling nice and open today, um, by all means, just stay in your easy seated pose um, or whatever pose you choose to sit in today. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with a block underneath my hips. Mm, and just sitting up nice and tall. Lengthen through the spine. And let the shoulders and shoulder blades just melt down the back. Right away, let's take a cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose to the belly. Open mouth, exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale fully through the nose to the belly. Fill the belly up front to back, side to side. Open mouth, exhale. And then just return back to the natural flow of your breath. And beginning to slow your breath down. Breathing in and out through the nose. And mindfully just scanning your body, noticing where the body's holding some tension. Maybe, maybe it's even in your mind. Maybe you're very stressed and your thoughts. And just noticing where else that travels to. It can be in the jaw, the neck the shoulders, the back. We can carry stress in any part of our bodies. Just breathing here. Let's take a few focused breaths, inhaling for the count of three through the nose, filling up the body with the breath. Hold the breath. And then exhaling through the nose for the count of three. Doing your best to make each inhale and exhale of the same length and the same depth. So let's do two more rounds. Inhaling for three. Hold. Exhale through the nose for three. And once again. Letting the shoulders soften even more without losing the integrity of your posture. 
Noticing where the body may be rigid. Trying to soften in that area. Letting tension and stress just melt away. Let's take another cleansing breath here. Open mouth, exhale. And slowly opening the eyes. Very good. Let's go ahead and uh, switch the crossing of our legs. So whichever foot was in closest to you, bringing that out in front. Continuing to stay here in our seated pose and now making our way into some neck release with a little fascia release. So let's inhale, lengthen up nice and tall. And then exhale, bring that right ear to the right shoulder. And notice if you're tight in the neck or the trapezius muscle, if the shoulders kind of pull up as you do this. I want you to focus on breathing into the left side of the neck, the tops of the shoulders, and finding some release where the shoulders are able to gently melt down. So letting the shoulders drop down from the ears. And let's take a big deep breath right into the left side of the neck, the scalene muscles. And exhale. Once again, inhale. Exhale. Good. Now for our fascia release, keep your head where it is. Bring your left hand up and making your peace fingers here. Then we're going to bring those two fingers, our peace fingers, to our neck, starting down at the base of our neck. And as you inhale, just gently pressing the fingertips into the side of your neck as you glide the fingers up. On the inhale, you maybe even come all the way up behind the ear. And then as you exhale, gently glide the fingers down. We don't need to put a lot of pressure here. You will definitely feel this. All those little muscles in the side of the neck. And just continuing to do that. Each inhale, gliding the fingers up. And as you exhale, gliding them down. Maybe you bring the fingers all the way down to the tops of the shoulders, a trapezius muscle, and working your way back up. Maybe you stop if you feel a little knotted area or a little extra added tension or tight spot and kind of just lightly apply some pressure, breathing into the space. I'm just continuing to do this nice, easy motion. And then being aware of what else is going on in the body. So as we're doing this, you may find that that right shoulder kind of came up towards that right ear. Gently glide that right shoulder back down, letting that right shoulder be heavy. Maybe the uh, legs became active, the muscles are engaged in the inner groin or the thighs, letting that soften, letting the glutes release, letting the facial muscles soften, be relaxed. Breathing in and out through the nose. Let's just take two more breaths here. Last breath. Good. 
two. Then we'll bring that left hand back to the knee or to the thigh. Take it an inhale. And then on the exhale, gently rotating the chin down towards that right shoulder. So now we're getting a little bit deeper into the back side of the neck. Let those shoulders melt down. Just notice how your body responds to a slight movement, whether the body becomes tense or whether it relaxes, just being in awareness. Our goal, of course, is to find that release so that the body may relax. Good, let's take one more breath here, inhaling. And then as you exhale, gently rotate the chin all the way to center of chest. Mm. Definitely feeling this myself. Let the chin get really heavy, falling in towards the chest. And then we want to make sure that the shoulders don't round forward and rounding through the upper back. You want to gently roll the shoulders back and down, creating lots of space between the ears and the shoulders. Making sure that the jaw isn't clenching or your brow Breathing here. Good. Let's take one more full breath, taking a cleansing breath. So this time we'll inhale, sending the breath to the back of the throat, the back of the neck, the tops of the shoulders. Open mouth, exhale to release all that tension. Good. Now bring that left heel or palm of your hand to the forehead. And then we're going to lift the head back to center, letting the head be supported here. Good. Release that left hand down. Taking a few breaths here before we go to the other side. And just notice the difference from one side to the other. breath here. Beautiful. Let's make our way to the other side. Inhale to lengthen up tall. And then exhale, dropping that left ear nice and easy to the left shoulder. Checking in with the posture. Make sure your whole body isn't tilting over to the left side. We really just want this coming from the head in the neck. Breathing here into the right side of the neck. Let's take one more breath here and then we'll come into our fascia release. Beautiful. And bringing your right hand up, making your peace fingers here on this side. Bringing those two fingers to the neck as you inhale. Gently gliding the fingers up. And exhale, gliding the fingers down. Finding what feels good for you here. Getting curious with the movement. But remember to keep the pressure light and gentle. The fascia lies on top of all of the muscles. So it's the first thing that we are feeling here or activating. 
and it is like this webbing that covers our entire body. And if it becomes tight or we hold trauma in here, it will manifest and just hold it in the body. So as we gently work the fascia here with touch, and kind of breaking up the tissues and letting all that tightness or anything that's held here, let it release. That just creates some space for the rest of the body. Let's take two more breaths here. And then we'll release that right hand down, taking a full inhale. Exhale, gently rotating the chin towards that left shoulder. Finding the position that feels best for you here. Last breath here, inhale. Exhale, gently bringing the chin once again to the chest. Giving a quick check in with the legs. Notice if they're engaged. Letting that release. Let the head get heavier, falling into the chest. Take one more full breath here. Inhale through the nose to the back of the throat, back of the neck. Open mouth, exhale. Then we'll use that right heel or palm of the hand to the forehead, lifting the head back to center, releasing that right hand down. Taking three breaths here. On this last one, as you inhale, big inhale. On your exhale, using the affirmation, I release all tension and stress. Let's do that once again. Inhale. Exhale, I release all tension and stress. and slowly opening the eyes. Very good. Coming off of anything that you may have been sitting on, let's make our way down onto our backs. Mm, slowly lowering yourself on down. Let's bring the knees into the chest. And gently rock side to side. Breathing here, massaging the lower back. Maybe it feels good to do some little circles with the knees. Massaging the spine, the sacrum. And then reversing your circle. And 
let's bring the knees all the way in giving yourself a big hug and then releasing the hands let's open the arms out to a T palms facing up and then just drop the legs over to your right coming into a supine twist maybe looking over to the left or to the right it feels good for you in the neck Take an inhale to the belly, to the lower back. Exhale, soften and release. Releasing any gripping or holding or controlling. Letting the body just sink down. Let's take an inhale to the chest, the upper back. Exhale, letting the upper back release. Feel the shoulders sink down, arms sinking down. Take three more breaths here. And last breath. Inhale fully. Open mouth, exhale. I release all tension and stress. If you had your head turn, bring it back to center. Bring the arms back to the body. And then bring that left knee into your chest. Start rolling onto your back. Bring the right knee in and gently rocking side to side. And then let's roll over to the left side. So bringing those arms out to the T, palms facing up, or maybe you do cactus this time, whatever feels good for you here. And then we'll just let the legs fall over to the left. Taking a few breaths to really let the body release into this pose. Notice where the body may be resisting and doing your best to breathe through that. Letting the body know that it's okay to release. That's what we're here for today. I release all tension and stress. Let's take three more breaths here.
Last breath, cleansing inhale and exhale using your affirmation on the exhale. Bringing the head back to center, arms to the body. Slowly bringing that right knee into the chest, rolling out to your back, left knee in, rocking side to side. And then let's extend the legs all the way up towards the sky. If your hamstrings are really tight or the lower back, you can always have a nice generous bend in the knees. And just check in here with the neck. Notice if the chin is up really high towards the ceiling or the sky. Gently tuck the chin in, trying to find some length through the spine and the neck. And let's point and flex through the feet, maybe rotate through the ankles. And let's just come to be still here for a few breaths. You can either let the hands rest on the belly or bring the arms down to your mat or to the floor, palms facing down. And this is a little variation of legs up the wall. We call it waterfall in our yin practice. Let's take an inhale to the belly, fill the belly up. As you exhale, focus on letting the belly soften, the lower back release, and let the hips just sink down as well as the upper back and shoulders. So we're not looking to do like core strengthening here. If you feel your core is engaging, then maybe bring, bend the knees a little bit more, finding a little bit more relaxation. So we're working in the lower back here, as well as the shoulders, so releasing tension here. So it's a great pose to calm the nervous system down. Just take three more breaths here. I'm taking a big cleansing inhale and exhale, always using the exhale to release the tension and stress. Good, bending the knees, bringing the knees and thighs in towards you. Now release the feet down one at a time. And then extending the legs all the way out, coming into the Shavasana is always such a great pose to really allow the body to surrender. Let the nervous system come into a parasympathetic state. Let's take a cleansing breath here. Inhale through the nose, fill the belly up, maybe the whole body. Open mouth, exhale. And letting all the muscles relax. Let all the bones get heavy. And feel yourself just kind of sinking down into Mother Earth. I release all tension and stress.
And I welcome you to pause at this, pause the video at this time and stay in Shavasana a little longer if the body is calling for that. Otherwise, let's take a big inhale, fill the body up. Open mouth, exhale. Slowly begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Gently rocking your head side to side. Let's reach the arms up overhead. Pointing the toes, maybe rotate through the wrist and the ankles. Good. Slowly bringing the feet back to your mat or to the floor. And then rolling over to one side in fetal pose, taking a breath here. And then pressing yourself up. And we'll all meet back in our easy seated pose. Resting the hands on the knees or the thighs. Let's take a cleansing breath. Let's bring the hands together in prayer, Anjali Mudra at the heart. Noticing how your body is feeling now. I hope this practice really allowed your body mind to release any and all tension creating some peace and calmness in the body as well as the mind. Thank you for taking some time for yourself to find this outlet to release. And may you always remember throughout your day at any time that all you have to do is pause, maybe take a few breaths, Incorporate the affirmation, I release all tension and stress. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.